it's Amy and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you some of my top tips on how to declutter your house and your life and your mind because it really is true what they say. What is it that they say? Messy house, messy mind? Is that a saying? It's something like that. But whatever that saying is, it is true. Because the more junk you have around the place, like cluttering up your space, getting in the way, the more stressful it is. The harder it is to find anything that you want, the slower it is to get ready in the morning because there's stuff everywhere and it just is not a fun way to live your life. So these are some very simple and easy to follow tips to get you started on your decluttering journey and trust me, once all the junk is gone and out of your life, it feels so much better. Before I get on with the tips, if you enjoy these kinds of videos, then let me know by giving it a thumbs up and go ahead and click that subscribe button to become a member of our Oddball family. The first tip that I have for you is to try not to take on too much all in one go break it down into small manageable chunks. You might want to start with a drawer, you might want to start with your wardrobe, you might want to start with just going through your DVD collection. Start with something small and then move on area by area. Don't try and tackle it all at once because you'll end up feeling really discouraged and it's going to get on top of you and you will end up with a mess everywhere throughout the entire house. So break it into little chunks and move area by area. My next tip is to work systematically by putting everything into piles. Typically, I will have four piles. The keep pile, the donate pile, the rubbish pile, and the recycling pile. Really try and be responsible and limit the amount of stuff that you throw into the landfill pile. Donate or give away as much stuff as you can because then it's gonna benefit someone else. But if you think it's too old or it can't be given away, then try and recycle it. Really use the landfill as your last resort. It really helps to have everything laid out in front of you in piles because then you can see exactly how much you're getting rid of versus how much you're keeping. And if the keep pile is towering over all the other piles, then you know you've got to go back and resort. That brings me on to my next tip, which is to actually declutter stuff. Going into your wardrobe, pulling everything out, and then putting it all back in is not decluttering. It's hard to get rid of stuff. That is stuff that maybe you got as gifts, or maybe you spent a lot of money on, and it's hard to part with. But ask yourself three questions. Do I even use this? If it's an item of clothing, does it even actually fit me? And thirdly, if I was in a shop right now today and I saw this item in front of me, would I buy it again? A lot of the time we feel guilty about getting rid of stuff. You may have clothes in your wardrobe with tags on that you've never worn and they've been in there for five years. And you think, well, I can't get rid of it because I spent good money on that and I've never even used it. But you just have to let go of that guilt. You have never used it. You are never going to use it. If you donate it or you give it to a family member or a friend who's gonna get good use out of it, then that's not a waste. It's more wasteful to just have it hanging up in your wardrobe or stuck at the back of a drawer where it's never gonna see the light of day. That said, it can be really tricky to let go of things. And sometimes you may come across things that you haven't used in so long that you had completely forgotten they were even there. And you might trick yourself into thinking, well, now that I know it's there, I'll use it. Here's a trick that I like to use. I put those items on a probationary period. So if it's clothes hanging in my wardrobe, then I take the hanger out and I turn it around so it's facing the other way. Then if I actually get around to using that item of clothing, when I put it back in the wardrobe, I'll swing the hanger around so it's facing the right way. And at the end of three months, anything that has a hanger facing the wrong way, I know I haven't used it and it's going straight to the charity shop. Similarly, with other bits and pieces around the house, it's useful to get a big box. Anything that you're really not sure of whether you need to keep or not, put it in the box, and then at the end of a set time period, if you haven't reached for any of the items in that box, you know that you never will. Just get rid of them. My next tip for decluttering and getting rid of things that you do not need around your house is to store things digitally. You can download apps like Scannable where you can scan in your receipts on your phone and then you can upload them to the cloud or store them on your computer. You can import all your CDs and then just get rid of the hard copies because they take up a lot of room. 
My next tip is to reduce the amount of stuff that comes into your house that's going to mess up all the good work that you did. I do online banking so I don't get any bank statements coming through to the house. You can also apply online to have your name taken off the spam mail register or whatever it is so that you have a lot less junk mail coming into the house. Also, just try and buy less. Ask yourself, do I already have something that's similar to that? And will I actually ever use this? Just because it's a bargain does not mean that you need to buy it. And my last tip is to keep going. Don't think that you can do this whole decluttering process just once and that's it, you're sorted for life. Clutter has a way of getting back into the house without you even really realizing. I'll have one major decluttering session once a year, but I'll go through and declutter my drawers and the bathroom cabinet and my little chest of drawers here, maybe every four or five months, just on like a rolling cycle, just to make sure that things don't build up. What you'll notice is the more regularly you do this, the easier it becomes because there's less clutter to begin with, but also you kind of get addicted to it. And whereas at the start you wanted to hold on to everything, the more you do it, the more you just wanna get rid of all of the junk out of your life because you feel so much better, you can think so much clearly and all the things that you really love are there to hand. They're not buried amongst all this junk that you don't even need or want in your life. So I hope you guys found those tips helpful. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up to let me know. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And for those of you who are already subscribed, thank you guys so much. You are my oddballs and I love you. Good luck with all of your New Year's resolutions and your decluttering journey. Let me know how it goes in the comments down below. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye.